You can access your Kubernetes clusters thanks to Cabin, the mobile application for Kubernetes. It's available on iOS or Android, so get it from the Apple Store or the Play Store. Get it on your phone and then open the app and you'll get to this lovely welcoming screen where all the boxes are supposed to represent containers that are assembled into a beautiful distributed application. So you need to add a cluster, you click on the add cluster button, you can add a cluster manually, specify the IP address for the endpoint, specify how you authenticate, whether it's a certificate, username and password, basic authentication or token. You also have an integration with Google GKE. So you click on GKE and here you see that I've selected one of my uh, G, uh, Google Cloud Platform project, Skipbox, and I have a cluster already running. I tap on it to add it to the um, cabin interface and it says cluster added to cabin. So now I close the screen and I go back here and perfect, I have my cluster. So you see that by default the cluster on GKE gets lots of pods running and you see all the pods here through the interface. You see existing services, you see nodes and potential deployments. Notice that at the top you have the namespace view so you can just switch everything to uh, default and of course you know it's just a brand new cluster so when you switch to just the default uh, you don't see you know much okay except the nodes that are not namespaced if you want to configure the different views because your screen is too small you go to the settings bar and you'll see resource listing at the top and here you can toggle on and off what you want to see so if you don't want to see nodes you turn them off if you want to want to see deployments you turn them off okay and you go back and you'll be able to see your services and your pods. Perfect. So pods, you know, I like seeing deployments and maybe I want to see, what do I want to see? Uh, replica sets. So I want to see those four here. Perfect. And let's, you know, turn on all namespaces so we see everything. Perfect. So we can start a deployment and here we have a convenience icon, the plus icon, and I'm going to launch the beautiful ghost application. The image comes from Docker Hub is ghost and it will go into the default namespace. Great, done. I launched ghost. And then I go into services. I want to expose that deployment with a service. So I do deployment, which one? It's ghost. Perfect. And the port for ghost is nothing else than 23. 68, we should all know this by heart now. Great, so now I have a ghost service and I can dive into it a little bit further. Let's go back to the pods. We see that the ghost pod is, uh, is running, that's perfect. So any object you can uh, dig into it, you can see the labels, you can add you know, additional, additional labels, you know, foobar, you know, done, uh, perfect. So you see the foobar label. Did that and then I press enter. Uh, maybe it's just colon bar. Done. Here you go. So now I've added, you know, um, a label, and of course you can uh, remove a label. Perfect. You see the containers that are in a specific uh, pod, and you can get the logs from that specific containers. And if if there were several containers in that pod, I will be able to to do a container selection. Beautiful. So now I go into my deployment, my ghost deployment, I can click on it. Notice that there is an eye icon in every uh, object, so you can actually see the YAML. You cannot edit the YAML, but you can uh, see it. And then, you know, here, let's say we scale to seven pods. Uh, if I can, if my finger, you know, can click on the apply button. There you go. Seven. So now I've scaled, my desired state has changed, and then you see that my pods are coming online. Perfect. Okay. I go back and I should see much more ghost pod coming up. Perfect. So I can scale from the app, I can check the logs. What about the services? And a quick and handy uh, thing to do with service is to be able to switch the service type. Yes, just one tap and you switch the service type. So now we've made this ghost um, service, a load balancing type um, service. Perfect, so we can access the application. Uh, what else can we see? There is a connection to Helm. So here we actually uh, browsing the uh, default uh, chart store of, uh, of Helm. So you'll see 
you'll see the uh, the charts and then you can select one and then launch it um, it is a little bit buggy so you know soon stay up to date there's going to be some really exciting uh, news about cabin and hopefully some of uh, some of you will uh, get involved and uh, help us with that uh, problem with helm so let's go back to the pods for example they're all running and we go back to ghost and now we should have an IP address. So let's check the ports. What do we see? Open in a browser. And uh, is it getting me a, a public IP address? I don't know. Maybe I didn't get the uh, maybe I didn't get the public IP of the, the load balancer yet. Oh yeah, no, I do have it. Oh yeah, that's the one you see. External IP 130.211. So I should be able to open my ghost in my up. Oh, there you go. Perfect. So here you have it, you know, that's cabin, the mobile interface, the mobile dashboard for Kubernetes. You can connect it with GKE, you can add clusters manually, and then you're able to manage all your Kubernetes primitives. You can do extremely handy operations like labeling, scaling. You can all do set image if you want to trigger a rolling update. Uh, you can exec, you can view logs, and of course, if you also want to access your app, you get it running on your phone. Great. Thank you. Bye-bye.